Hello guys, it's Johnny Dam and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we'll learn how to bridge USDT tokens from Binance Smart Chain from BEP20 to Tron USDT on TRC20 tokens. If you need to use USDT on Tron in terms of TRC20 tokens and not BEP20 tokens on Binance Smart Chain, this super easy and simple tutorial will show you how to do it in a decentralized way. We have some centralized way at using centralized exchanges in the middle like Binance or KuCoin, but if you want a decentralized way without an account, a KYC or all these kind of things, then watch this guide to learn how simply you can do it after I've, I've done my research, I wanted to share it with you guys. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification button. So anytime I post this kind of educational tutorials about crypto and DeFi, you can see them and become DeFi masters. Here with me in Johnny time. Now let's get started in order to do it. You will need to use an app called SafePal. As you can see here, it's installed on my iPhone already. It exists and available on Android as well. You can get it on from the App Store or from the Play Store if you have Android. And this is basically the SafePal uh, wallet, okay? So here you have a code, you can lock your wallet and it's basically like a MetaMask wallet but for mobile devices. So the setup process is super easy and straightforward. You have to pick a password and then you need to back up your seed phrase and it's a decentralized wallet, basically very useful one because it supports a lot of chains and bridging and a lot of things that actually MetaMask don't have has inside the safe file. So I recommend this wallet especially for this task, decentralized for bridging basically USDT from BAP20 to TRC20. Now, once you set up your wallet and you got it, then you will have to add the assets to the main view because by default, you won't see all the assets that I see right now. You will need to click the plus button on the, on the right here. And then you click here, the plus button. And as you can see here, I added some BNB on BAP20 because you need it for gas fees. I add TRX Tron because you need it also for gas fees in order to send TRC20 and then I added USDT twice once at TRC20 which is on Tron network and one is on BAP20 on Binance Smart Chain so once you added USDT BAP20 USDT TRC20 TRX and BNB you can go to the next step. Now the next step will be to buy some USDT tokens on Binance Smart Chain. You can buy USDT tokens using one inch or punking swap or basically anywhere where there is liquidity for USDT dependent on the token that you want to sell. And um, that's why I like to use one inch because it's an aggregator of exchanges and it combines a lot of liquidity places in the same place. So if you have BUSD, you can swap it with USDT or any other token. BNB or cake or whatever you want, you can swap it with USDT on one inch. Now, once you have the, B, the USDT tokens on BAP20, you're gonna send it here. As you can see, you're gonna click here the uh, USDT BAP20 and then you will have receive, okay? Receive button and this is basically your address on Binance Smart Chain. Make sure that you send BAP, on Binance Smart Chain the transaction, send the USDT here to this address and after a while, you're supposed to see your USDT here exist. Now, the next thing that you want to do is send some BNB tokens because in order to bridge the USDT from Binance Smart Chain to Tron, from BUSD to TRC20, you will need to pay some transaction fees in BNB. So send some transaction fees, you click the BNB button here, receive, of course, and then you're gonna send some BNB for transaction fees. Now, once you have both some BNB for fees and the USDT on BAP20, you want to go here to the DEX, this kind of two arrows uh, button on the bottom. And then you have on the bottom of the screen here, bridge functionality. You're gonna click here on the USDT and then you're gonna pick TRC20 with BAP20. This is basically the in-app in bridge that lets you in a decentralized way bridge from uh, BAP20 to, to TRC20 and you can bridge your uh, new BSD, new, new USD tokens that you just uh, basically sent to this wallet to TRC20. 20. Now the fee is fixed, it's $1, which is not high if you're sending big amounts. It's not a percentage of your amount, but it's a fixed fee of um, 
one dollar and that's that's basically it that's how you bridge it and it will take like 15 20 minutes so don't be stressed if the money does not arrive immediately and you can see also the progress it shows you the progress and you click next confirm the transaction very very similar to metamask or any other decentralized wallet that you are familiar with and after a while you're supposed to see that you have usd tokens like i have right now on trc20 now in order to send those TRC20 uh, tokens to another wallet, you will need some TRX tokens because these are the tokens that you pay for gas fees on Tron network. So make sure you have some TRX tokens and get them into your wallet and then you can send your USDT tokens TRC20 to any other wallet on the Tron blockchain. And that's it. That's a tutorial of how bridging from BUSD, uh, sorry, from USDT on uh, BEP20 Binance Merchant to USDT TRC20 on Tron super easy super simple let me know if you have any questions in the comments below i will be more than happy to help and please if you like this video consider clicking the like button it really helps the algorithm to expose it to many more people that want to learn what you just learned right now with me and if you like this video subscribe to the channel so because i post daily so many interesting and educational videos where you can learn from and become DeFi and crypto masters thank you so much and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye